Hey everyone, Stephen Powell here. I want to do another installment, uh, just a short video today on the Jezebel spirit, exposing the Jezebel spirit. And I want to emphasize uh, a point that I made actually at the end of one of my previous videos, but I just want to expand upon this, talk about this, and, and do a whole video dedicated to exposing this aspect of the Jezebel spirit, because you have to know this if you're going to discern Jezebel. Jezebel is a religious spirit, okay? Matthew chapter 6, verse 1a says, Take heed that you do not uh, do your charitable deeds before men to be seen of them. So Jezebel loves to do things, but she loves to be seen doing those things, right? And one of the, the characteristics of someone who's really walking in intimate fellowship with the Lord and in the integrity of their ministry and the character heart of God is that they don't need to be seen by people. In fact, they don't want to be seen by people in some respects because they know that Jesus taught that when you pray, you're to pray uh, in secret to the Father and the Father who sees in secret will, will reward openly. So it's the, the Lord that gives the open reward, but oftentimes that open reward is attached to what you're willing to do faithfully unto him before the audience of one, the Lord, right? So the Lord sees all, he knows all, and he is tracking, he is looking, he is He is uh, weighing, so to speak, the scales of all of his servants. And I tell you, those who who, who have a an unhealthy need to be seen by others, to always be seen by others. It, it even develops into a narcissistic thing. Jezebel's very, very narcissistic. She loves to uh, exalt herself. She loves to be seen of men. And she wants to be seen doing religious things. Uh, some of the, the strongest Jezebel spirits that I've encountered, uh, it actually did confuse me at first because they seem to have such deep prayer lives. They seem to be always praying in tongues and always having the worship music on and always in the word and always talking about the things of God. But what the Lord revealed to me was that that was in large part a show that was put on for me, okay? So that's part of it. There is a fakeness to this. But another aspect of the religious spirit is the religious spirit is one of Satan's favorite tools for deceiving people. And not just for deceiving the people that Jezebel wants to harass, but also the vessels, okay, who actually end up, uh, for lack of a better term, channeling that Jezebel spirit. They are many times deceived as well, terribly deceived. So I encountered one time this very powerful Jezebel spirit operating through a pastor's wife, nothing against pastors or pastor's wives. I believe that many of them, if not most of them, are wonderful, godly people that stay free of such things. But Jezebel wants to work its way into positions of authority and power and influence in the church. And there was a Jezebel spirit, very powerful Jezebel spirit that had gotten a hold of a pastor's wife. And this is what God revealed to me. God revealed to me that all that, that, that the way that she just completely wrapped her entire life in religious activity, it actually ended up justifying in her own eyes just how pure she was, just how righteous she was, just how beyond reproach she was, to where even when she was treating other people like me horribly, even to the point of spiritual abuse, she was completely blinded to her own sin. Okay, and the religious activity that she was stooped in served to blind her from that. And it kind of went like this. Well, I can't be wrong. You've got to be the one that's wrong. I can't be out of order. You've got to be the one that's out of order. Because I pray more than anybody else. And I fast more than anybody else. And I read the Bible more than you. And I know the Bible better than you. Let me tell you something. God could care less about any of that stuff if it does not uh, aid in producing the character, the nature, and the fruit of Jesus in your life and in your heart. The Bible says in James 1, this is true religion. This is what I'm really looking for in what you call religion. 
Are you going to minister to those that are needy? Are you going to reach out to the poor and to the widows? Are you going to feed those that are hungry, right? Matthew 25, Jesus said, I was naked and you did not clothe me. I was hungry. You did not feed me. I was thirsty. You did not give me anything to drink. I was in prison. You didn't visit me. Because why? When you do this to the least of these, you have done it unto me. This is true Christianity. This is the true heart of God. And I tell you, there's some people, their religiosity blinds them to the fact that they treat others horribly. So just in a nutshell, okay, wrapping, wrapping, this, wrapping this up here today. Do not allow the religious spirit to blind you to your behavior, to blind you to how you really treat people, okay? What, what, what are the words that you're speaking to others? Are you always tearing down? Are you always condemning? Are you always quick to expose ever, everyone else's faults, right? Or are you someone that recognizes that there's life and death in the power of your tongue and you want to use your tongue, the power of your words, as a force for good, as a force to help people up, as a force to empower people, right? Are you kind to people? Are you loving? Are you caring? Okay, kindness goes a long way. I'm telling you right now, Jesus is a very kind man. He is the kindest of people, all right? Are you kind to others? Are, are you loving to others? Are you just fault fighting? Are you just looking uh, for, for others to fall on their face? face or to slip up so you can point it out and you can be the righteous one that, that that calls them and wants to bring correction or whatever. I'm telling you, some people, when they get a little bit of power under them, when they get a little bit of authority under them, they become monsters, right? And God is looking for people that would that would govern the power that they've been given with a heart of love, with a heart of charity, okay? With mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown Mercy, Jesus said, right? So just understand this. When you're discerning a Jezebel spirit, don't look for her to just come out, you know, with her horns and her pitchfork, okay? Look for her, okay, to be putting on the show and to be appearing as the most righteous, the most humble, the most holy, the most spiritual person you've ever met. But remember, this just adds to the deception. This just adds to the confusion. You even might find yourself saying, how can someone someone be so nasty, yet they pray so much? I'm telling you, the Pharisees prayed a whole lot. And the Pharisees knew the word of God better than most. And they were completely blind to the spiritual demonic influences that they were under, which ultimately led them to crucify our holy and innocent Lord. All right, so just know this. Jezebel's spirit, she's a religious spirit, but it only blinds her more to her own bad behavior and her own sin. All right, so I pray this helps you uh, to better discern and expose this spirit. Let's discern it, amen, before it gets too mature, before it gets too far gone in our churches or in our families or in our, our businesses, and let's deal with it and confront this spirit uh, before the enemy has his way. God bless you. Oh, yeah.